Okay, let me start. So, good morning, everyone. Uh, thank you for choosing our session, even if there are many sessions in parallel. Uh, I'm Mitsuhiro Tanino, working at the Hitachi Data Systems. And I'm contributing for OpenStack community for two years, mainly Shinda and Nova, to enhance OpenStack to apply mission critical system. Uh, my name is Tomoki Sekiyama. I'm also working in the Hitachi and mainly contributing on Cinder and also you know, proposing some patches for Glance. Okay, so today we'd like to introduce uh, efficient image management using Cinder volumes for virtual and bare metal uh, machines. We uh, developed a future at uh, Liberty Face for enable efficient image management. So in this session, we will explain uh, about detailed implementation and configuration for these uh, feature, features. So please feel free to uh, ask a question or interrupt and also ask a question at Q&A time. Okay, so this is uh, today's agenda. So at first, I'd like to explain the why we are contributing the uh, efficient image handling at the background. And a second, we will introduce a new future for efficient image handling. And as such, uh, we will explain about the use case of volume backed images. The volume backed image is the future which we developed at the Liberty phase into the Shinder. Also, usage of volume backed uh, back images. And then uh, I will explain about the current limitation for the volume backed images because we propose this feature for Shinda and uh, Glance, uh, both Shinda and Glance at the Liberty phase. But unfortunately, uh, Shinda uh, piece was merged at the uh, Liberty phase, but Glance uh, feature hasn't merged yet. So we are proposing this feature for Mitaka. And then finally, we will explain about the uh, future work for Mitaka. Okay, so let's move on to the background. So at first, let me explain about the background for our activity. So applying the block strategy for the OpenStack Cloud environment, uh, we think there are four, uh, four key requirements as shown below. So, agility of boot, uh, booting instance, stable uh, performance, virtualization and optimization, and business continuity. As for the agility of booting instance, uh, using the copy online snapshot feature enables a uh, new uh, instance with volume uh, booting rapidly without a uh, massive data copy from the from uh, via network from Glance backend. As you know, currently when we boot a VM with uh, volume, uh, firstly the image is copied to the Glance image to the Shinda volume via network, so the, it uh, takes a long time and also the high network traffic. Therefore, we improve this problem as the liberty phase. Also, as for the stable performance, uh, applying OpenStack to the mission critical system, stable IOPS and uh, low latency for storage is required. So, block storage is uh, suitable for this requirement. Also, the virtualization and optimization. Uh, Storage virtualization and optimization is uh, important to use uh, backend storage to efficiently. And as for the business continuity, so it is important to taking uh, backup and snapshot using uh, storage feature uh, via storage feature such as copy or snapshot. So, for example, the, uh, our Hitachi storage have a shadow image or a scene image. Uh, it provides uh, rapidly uh, volume clone or, and uh, it reduces the system downtime. So in this session, uh, we will focus on the agility of booting, uh, booting instance. 
So let me explain about the more detailed problems between Shinda and Glance before Liberty Face. So as I explained uh, at previous slides, agility uh, is an important f uh, factor for open stack crowds. So putting an instance rapidly is required to realize the agility. This figure shows the basic mechanism of booting from image and booting from volume using Glance. As you know, uh, when the image size is large, Nobabuto takes a long time to download the image from Glance to Shinda backend volume because uh, Nova caches the images, but uh, it's not uh, effective at the first boot. Also, the using Shinda volume uh, always downloads the image by default, so it takes much time every time to boot, uh, volume by using volume boot. Also, the also the problem too. Uh, when we use the bare metal environment, putting bare metal nodes requires us to copy the image to local disk from Glance backend. So this figure shows the basic mechanism of booting with ironic uh, nodes using Glance image. There are four steps uh, for booting bare metal server. So at the first step. Uh, boot with deploy image. And next step, uh, export the disk as an iSCSI target to the Ionic node. And then attach the exported disk to the Ionic node. And steps, uh, third step, download the image uh, from the Glance backend to Ionic node and copy image uh, into the Shinda volume, onto the Shinda volume. And finally, uh, reboot the bare metal server, and uh, the boot uh, sequence is finished. So, as you know, the download and copy, image copy, is uh, takes a long time because it depends on the volume size, and it uh, it's called high network traffic. Also, Ionic caches uh, downloaded images, uh, same as Nova. But the image copy to attach the disk is always required. So this also causes high network traffic. And this is a problem three. So image copy may affect disk IO performance of instances. So this is an example of Sysbench OLTP benchmark during volume creation. The environment is a KVM inter, uh, instance with a volume uh, by using a LVM iSCSI backend. As you can see, uh, when the image copy doesn't happen, the performance of database uh, database update is almost 500 transactions per second. However, uh, during image uh, copy to Shinda volume, the DB transaction suddenly decreased and not stable during, uh, in this case, uh, 20 seconds or so. So the interference can be mitigated by image copy IO bandwidth limitation feature, but image copy, uh, using that feature, image copy takes longer time than usual. Also, another problem is uh, volume creation from uh, Snapshot is rapid, but snapshot cannot be shared among the tenant in current Shinda uh, specification. So this is not suitable for using public image. So this figure shows uh, our target environment uh, by using by using uh, applying our developed feature. So as for the Nova component, uh, we supposed to use multiple hypervisors such as v uh, KVM or VM, uh, KVM or VMware and also the bare metal. Also the for the Shinda piece, we supposed to use some storage such as uh, FG or iSCSI. As you know, the currently bare metal does not support the Shinda volume, but uh, our coworker uh, is proposing the ironic spec for Mitaka phase.
Okay, so let's move on to the more detail for about the new future for HTML image handling. So the in liberty phase, uh, there are two features uh, added to Shinda for efficient image management. First one is uh, image volume cache. So this feature uh, caches the recently used image as image volumes automatically. Also the second one is the volume backed images. This feature enables to store uh, uh, ima uh, grants image data into uh, Shinda volume, onto a Shinda volume. So using both features, uh, a new bootable volume can be uh, created rapidly by cloning the image volume by storage feature. Also, both features are disabled by default. So let me explain about the overview of the image volume cache. In this future, uh, images uh, which is recently used by Shinda uh, cached as a Shinda volume. So each image is stored in the volume as an image volume after downloading from the glance backend to the Shinda volume. And also the, this Shinda volume is uh, stored into the Shinda's internal, ten, uh, internal tenant for only Shinda, it's automatically. And then when user want to create a VM uh, with volume, the new volume is created by cached image volume by cloning future. Also the volume cache is uh, automatically managed. So the, if cache volume uh, exceeds the spec uh, specific amount size, recently unused cache volume uh, deleted automatically. And also the, this feature support various disk formats and uh, it's uh, converted to low before cached into the image volume. And also this feature can coexist with the volume backed image feature I will uh, explain in the next slide. Okay, so let's move on to the overview of the volume backed images. So in order to use the volume backed images, uh, user need to register an image volume as a glance image by using glance uh, Shinda store. The image data is stored in a volume and also uh, use uh, uh, the image, uh, image data has, uh, uh, on, uh, the image data ha on the glance has uh, location metadata and user need to set a location data into the meta metadata. So as you can see the figure, bottom figure, there is a location equal Shinda colon slash slash one, two, three, four, 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 ABC. This is a location of the Shinda volume. So when you create a image volume, uh, user need to set the location of the Shinda volume to grant the image metadata. And uh, using this feature, uh, no image data transfer between Shinda and glance. Also, volume can be created rapidly by cloning the image volume. Now, um, nextly, I'd like to explain uh, use case of this uh, volume backed feature, uh, volume backed image feature. And this is a, and the first one is the this one, and uh, rapidly boot the uh, virtual machines. And we can, uh, with the volume backed image, we can uh, rapidly boot an instances um, from the uh, image with uh, creating a new volume. And Using this feature, you know, uh, as Tanya said, explained, uh, the image volume is cloned inside the storage array, so it is uh, very uh, quick than uh, copy via uh, glass node or Cinda node. So we can reduce the time to launch instances uh, very much, and it also reduces the I/O workload, which means uh, it doesn't stress uh, disks or uh, networks. And 
Here is an example of booting the instance from a new Cinder volume, which is created from a 12 gigabyte operating system image. And the, um, in this case, by default, we uh, took uh, four, about four minutes to boot uh, this uh, instance. And the most time is consumed to create a new volume from the image. It means uh, it takes a time to download a full image to the Cinder node, and after that, uh, type its data to the actual Cinder volume on the storage. But if uh, we use the uh, volume bucket image, um, it takes just 11 uh, seconds, so very quick. This is because uh, the every copy is offloaded to storage and it is asynchronously uh, handled in the storage. So this effect is more significant if uh, we need to boot multiple instances on Nova. Okay. And next one is for rapid boot for uh, bare metal instances. And Note that this is currently ongoing work, so not yet supported in the Liberty release. And as times I explained, currently we need a lot of time to boot uh, bare metal instances because we need to copy the full image to the uh, local bare metal uh, hard disk drive. But currently, uh, ongoing work to support the volume boot is uh, existing for Ionic. The combining this feature with a uh, volume backed image, we can um, we quickly uh, make ready for the uh, boot volume and by cloning the image volume inside the storage. And if and, and the boot volume is uh, get ready, we can just attach it to the parameter nodes and just power on to boot the image. So we, we don't have to copy any uh, disk image. So it will be much, much faster than a current implementation. Okay. And th this is an um, example uh, case for uh, using the, uh, some storage allies copy offloading features. And some storages support the uh, copying on light based on cloning. So when this, the storage support this feature, um, Creating a new volume with cloning is uh, requires no data transfer, so there is no interference to the instance's performance. And this graph is an another example, uh, again, using a sysbench or TP benchmark during the volume creation. Um, by default, it and uh, the performance much degrades, degrades while the volume data copy, but when the uh, volume backed image is used, uh, we can not see any uh, interference to the uh, benchmark performance. So, and if the same provisioning is supported by the uh, back, uh, Cinder backend, and this feature also improves the storage capacity, um, leveraging the copy on light and so on. And this is another use case of the volume backed image. Uh, we can uh, share the volume data among tenants. As Terence I explained in the problem section, um, the snapshots or volume data cannot be shared between the uh, tenants currently. But in volume backed image is uh, managed by the uh, glance. And the glance has the HGL feature which enables uh, create a public image or uh, sharing the image among spe specific uh, members, specific tenants. So volume backed image also can uh, control the visibility using this uh, glass ACR feature. So this feature will be uh, quite useful to share the base image, such as uh, operating system images or some master data sets and so on. So this means, in, for example, if the uh, operating system image is shared uh, for the every uh, uh, is a public image, every a uh, every tenant user can uh, just clone the uh, volume data 
from uh, to build an instance this. So it's and if the same provisioning is supported, every uh, uh, base operating system can share the block, so the uh, it reduces the cap, uh, usage of the storage. Okay. So this is the actual use case of um, the Burnbacked image. And now I'm going to explain how to use this Burnbacked image. Currently, uh, there are two ways to uh, create a volume backed image. And this one is a uh, little bit low level command, which is used as a glance command line interface. And uh, note that uh, this uh, explanation is based on the image API version 2, which is uh, in a, uh, default in the Liberty release. Uh, first, uh, firstly, we need to create an uh, empty glance image using the glance image create command. And disk, disk format and container format must be specified to the uh, low and bare because uh, Cinda volume storing stores the uh, uh, low data. And after newly um, new image is created, uh, we need to uh, register the Cinda volume location using the glance location add command. It takes the URL options, which starts with Cinder clone slash slash and followed by the volume UUID. And the figure below shows the result of a uh, created image, um, which is uh, displayed by the glance image show command. And you can see uh, there is a location property which has a Cinder uh, UUID as a URL. And when the location is added to the image, uh, Glass will uh, automatically retrieve the size and it sets the volume size as the image size. Okay, and this is a little bit low level version of command. And there is a little bit higher level command which uses the cinder upload to image command. Um, usually cinder upload to image command will literally upload the full uh, volume data to the glance default store. But if the uh, administrator set the uh, um, image upload use cinder backend option in the cinder conf, this uh, behavior is uh, overridden to create a volume backed image. And cinder upload to command, as uh, upload to image command, takes two options, um, volume, name or UUID, or and the newly created image name. When this com command is executed, it actually does the three things. Uh, first one, firstly, it cl uh, clones the specified volume to create a new image volume. And after clone, and this will be uh, offloaded to the storage, so it usually is uh, done in at once. So after the, this Im new uh, image volume is created, and Cinder will set this, uh, mark this as a lead only to uh, avoid uh, user uh, destroy the data by mistake. And then the cloned volume URL is registered to a new glance image. And, that, and note that um, currently it only supports the low format disk. Actually, upload to image command can take an um, optional argument to, uh, to specify a disk format or container format, but if something like a QCA2 format is uh, specified, it, this feature is disabled and it, um, it does up actually upload the converted image to the glance default store, so it takes much longer time. And now, this is how to uh, use a volume backed image to create a new volume from it. It is uh, just as normal uh, in the create command, just specifying the uh, image UUID to our Cinder create command. When the image specified image is volume backed, uh, Cinder will automatically uh, clone, uh, create a new volume by cloning. 
And if the specified size is larger than the image volume, uh, Cinda will automatically extend the volume size to the specified, specified, specified size. And you can also um, create a new volume when, uh, with the horizon when you launch a new instance. And this, uh, such, uh, this image is uh, just an example to uh, something to specify in launching the new instance to create a new volume with from the image. This is nothing new, but uh, you can um, use as existing design. But just the volume uh, image instance creation will be much faster when the uh, image volume is specified. Okay. And this feature uh, disabled by default to uh, in uh, Liberty release. So to enable this f feature. Administrator need to do some settings to glance and cinder. And for glance settings, and which is a little in the usually etc glance glance API conf, uh, we need to do th two things. Uh, firstly, we need to enable the cinder store as a, a glance backend. This can be done by adding the Cinder keyword to the uh, stores option in the Glass API conf. And we also need to uh, set show multiple location to true to uh, export image location URL because uh, Cinder will know which image or volume back image um, or not from the URL, uh, this URL. And for Cinder, <coughs> excuse me, for Cinder settings, uh, we need to uh, enable the Glass API version two because this image location is only supported in the from the Glass API version two. And we also need to uh, add a Cinder keyword to the allowed direct direct your schemas option. This will enable the um, cloning image volumes when the image location is started from Cinder clone slash rush. And optionally, and if uh, administrator want user to use uh, create the image volume by image uh, upload upload to image command, uh, additional settings is needed for each backend volume backend. Um, this is how to enable the image volume cache, but um, I'm going to skip this because it is not related, uh, directly related to the uh, image back volume. Um, this slide is available from the uh, scheduled uh, site, so if you want to know about this, please download the slide. Okay. And nextly, I'm going to explain the current limitation of uh, volume back feature. Um, first of all, uh, we cannot, and Cinder does not support the cloning volumes between the multiple uh, volume, uh, Cinder volume hosts or multiple backends. So if the uh, operator has a multiple um, Cinder volume on its cl uh, cloud system, the, this means that users need to create an image volume on each host and, or each backend and register the every uh, volume lo image volume location to the volume backed image. And second limitation is that volume backed image must be in a uh, long format because um, this feature just cloned the uh, image volume to create a new volume, so no image data conversion is done. So. By the way, an um, image volume cache feature, which is also added to the uh, Liberty release in Cinda, and um, it supports the various uh, disk formats. So maybe uh, we can combine this uh, image volume 
cache feature and version back to feature and like case by case. And next limitation is maybe a uh, biggest one, but um, currently uh, we cannot, <laughs> uh, we can use the volume backed image only to create a new volume. This means that Nova or other components cannot access the uh, volume backed image contents. So it cannot be used to create a Nova image. And this is because the currently uh, glass Cinder Store functionality is quite limited. And I'm explaining this about more detail in later slide, but we are proposing a uh, patch to uh, fix this situation. And last one is that image volumes created by uh, upload to image command are uh, visible to the users. This means that user can maybe uh, delete the image volume by mistake or modify its the contents by mistake. So um, actually we can option to uh, hide the image volume from users to um, operate by mistake. To um, actually there is an option to upload image use internal tenant in the a liberty list, but and when this option is specified, the image volume is stored in the internal tenant, which is not accessible from users, but only from Glance and Cinda. But uh, unfortunately, this requires the Glance patch, so it cannot be actually used in liberty list. And this slide explains the current situation of Glance Cinder Store. And Glance Cinder Store is uh, supported from uh, maybe um, Glaze release or somewhere, but it was uh, it uh, it has lacking lacked the very important features. Actually, it can uh, it support only uh, retrieving the volume size, but that's all. And so it can nothing. Uh, it was not, not so useful so, so far. So it was considered almost broken. And this is due to uh, Glance and Cinder Store cannot access to the image volume data. So it only provides a pointer to the existing volume. And it, the Glance uh, Cinder Store currently cannot delete the image volume when the image is deleted. So when user create the volume backed image, currently user by, by themselves delete the uh, vo image volume too. And, also, uh, and Cinder Store also cannot specify a user or tenant to access Cinder. So it always use the current context. This is why the uh, created image volume is visible to users. But this is not so a uh, good thing to users because users can operate this by mistake. So we are proposing uh, patches to uh, fix this situation. Our patch uh, mainly uh, make it possible to uh, access the image volume data from the glance. So it implements the downloading or uploading from the Glass client to a Cinder volume. And in this patch, it uses the OS Brick library to attach the Cinder volume to the Glass node. And OS Brick library is introduced in the Kilo release, which is um, currently in used in the Liberty release Nova to attach the um, Cinder volumes to the compute node. So it does the same things to uh, glance nodes to access the image data. And it also supports the uh, image volume deletion when the image uh, volume backed image is deleted. And it also adds the settings for user and tenant to store image. So it makes it available to uh, 
stored image into the internal tenant, which is only accessible from the scene down glass. So we can hide the image volume to, uh, from the users. So uh, when this patch is merged, when this patch is merged, uh, we can use the Cinder store as a default store, which is um, like something like a file system or a Swift backend console used in the glass. And then Nova will also be able to download the uh, volume backed image for uh, image boot. And this is the last section. I'm going to uh, explain the uh, future work in this area. Um, first one is, again, uh, ironic bare metal volume boot. Our co-worker is currently uh, trying to uh, proposing uh, ironic specs. And also, another Nova spec is proposed from the uh, uh, ironic community to support a volume boot of bare metal nodes. Um, Combining the volume boot and the, the cinder backed image, we can uh, rapidly deploy the parameter node to the image, based on the image, by cloning the image volume and just attach it to the parameter nodes and per just power on. So the, it will be very quick. And another, uh, this is currently just an idea and not proposed actually, but um, we can also, in theory, um, support a copyless image boot for Nova. This can be done by um, currently Nova downloads the full image from Glass, but when if the uh, volume packed image is used, we can bypass the copy by um, attaching the image volume to the Nova compute node instead of the copying it. So it will uh, improve the boot time of image boot for the even for the uh, first boot, and I mean firstly image is used. Okay. To wrap up, um, since the burn back image newly introduced in the Liberty Lace, which is useful to uh, rapid boot of um, volume of volume boot both for volume instances and parameter instances. And it also used for to uh, share the volume data among tenants. And we can also use the uh, leverage the storage features such as uh, simple provisioning or copy on light and so on. But um, so it in enhanced the virtual image using the Cinder volume, but currently there is some limitation. Which, um, Glass clients cannot upload or download the image in Liberty. So, but we are proposing improve this for Mitaka, which, uh, which will enable the um, Cinder store to uh, use as the default store, default Glass store. Okay, so now patch and specs are proposed so we are, and, and these are under review. So uh, comments are very welcome. Okay. Okay, that's it for uh, our presentation. And any questions? Uh, thank you for good feature. Uh, I have uh, two questions. Uh, when we use uh, low power storage and uh, when we use a uh, create uh, when we want to create a boot volume from one image is uh, too much boot volume uh, do we need to uh, care about the number of uh, copy session uh, running actively in on storage uh, second question is if so uh, how do I how do we know it? So you mean, um, if we, uh, for example, create a very many, many instances at the same time, so you mean uh, much, um, many copy session is started in the storage array, is it correct? Oh, yeah. Okay. And, okay, um, the answer will be differs on what kind of storage you use. And, Okay, 
For example, um, if you use the LVM uh, with the sim uh, sim provisioning, uh, actually it uses uh, now uh, a copy and write feature to create a new volume. So it is, it is actually usually finished very uh, quickly. So it doesn't store it in, in disk. But in some type of storage alley, it actually need to the copy. So at such cases, um, we need to uh, check this uh, story, uh, We, we may store the storage alley system. So at that case, at that case maybe we need to add some limit, uh, max copy session limit. Um, but um, yeah, what actually answer is that so it, it, def it depends on what type, what kind of type storage is used. Hey. Um, so w if you've got um, a volume-backed image and you want to uh, provision multiple, multiple instances from it and maybe the scheduler will place them on different compute nodes and different racks and so some will have maybe a fast connection to that volume and some will go across maybe even the WAN. Um, I, I think you, you maybe mentioned it um, but I wasn't sure how you dealt with that. Do you have to create multiple glance images to handle the um, uh, different uh, for each like uh, volume back end? Um, yes, um, it is actually uh, not automatic. So user need to create uh, each volume by um, maybe copying the data or migrate it and register its every location using the uh, glance image add image command. Okay, so so you you need to register a new image, or uh, no. does the, you can have multiple uh, locations yeah, for image the image. Can hold uh, multiple locations. Oh, so okay, thanks. Uh, uh, this solution is uh, not dependent upon any device backend. I believe. So it will work very well with the uh, other AMC array or Hitachi and then 3 power, anyone, right? That is my understanding. Um, yes, it's a generic implementation, so we we can use and uh, with any type of storage. Yeah. In and uh, in case of the bare metal, uh, uh, which you told that uh, what we are doing is that we are creating a volume uh, back to image, and we are attaching that image to the uh, uh, the bare metal instance and which will be used to boot the volume, am I correct? Sorry, which will be used to boot the instance? Yes, and um, um, the volume, uh, uh, volume back team is specific for the Ironlink Noir um, instances. It uh, seems that we clone its volume to uh, create a new boot volume, and the new boot volume, new boot volume is just attached to the uh, metal nodes. Does it answer your question? Yeah, first you'll attach to uh, the bare metal and then you'll boot the bare metal. Yeah, this is just attached and part on. Okay. okay, okay. Other questions? No? Okay. Then thank you for very much for coming. Thank you.